In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the media page in DaVinci Resolve so that you can organize your footage like a pro and speed up your edits. Stick around to the end of the video as I'm giving away a free title pack from DaVinci Resolve titles. Whether you're working on small projects or large projects with lots of files, you need to know these tips. We're going to look at folders, the best way to import folders, keywords, and the best feature of all, smart bins, which you can set up once and apply to all projects. I'll also show you how to synchronize video and audio from separate sources in the media page. There are time codes in the description below. Let's go. I've opened up DaVinci Resolve and we are now on the media page. We'll just go through the layout. Over here on the top left, these are all the drives that are on your system. So we can see that's my main video editing drive, the uh, SanDisk Xtreme SSD 4 terabyte, and that's the main operating drive. So all my media is gonna be on this drive. And then we can see here's all the folders within that drive. We've then got an area where we can put our favorites. And this is our main bin here for the project. And here's our media pool, which our project's gonna use. Over on the right, we've got these tabs here. So the metadata one, this is super useful. Once we start adding content, we've got the inspector. And also we've got capture, but I'm not gonna cover this one as I don't have a capture card. If you wanna import media from one of your drives on your existing system, I could just go into my videos folder, open my tutorials. And we can see here, we've got loads of different options at the top. So if I right click on any of these, I can enable different things. So if I wanna see what video codec it is, audio codec, file name, start and end, all this is here, and you can turn them on and off by clicking them like this. And also you can rearrange them. So if you wanted to have date created first, I could drag this across to the left and move it around and I could customize this any way that I wanted. And again, if I wanted the thing like the file name bigger, I can move this and drag it like that so I can see the full file name of the folders. If I want to bring a folder into our media pool, all we've got to do is just simply choose the folder, grab it, drag it and let go. I don't want to change the project because I've already set that. I'm going to press don't change. And we can see now here's all our clips from the media library. So there's our folder and here's all the files. If I double click this folder, you can see it's got a very specific structure I like to follow. So I've got my general videos, I've got a music folder, I've got a pictures folder, I've got a piece to camera, I've got a sound effects, and I've also got some clips to do with the product that I've shot. Another way we can do this, if I highlight all these, and I can remove them from the bin, so I can go remove selected clips and they're all gone. So we can see if you've got it within a folder and you want to bring that folder in, which is this one here, all I need to do is go select the folder, drag it into master. Don't change the frame rate. And you'll see now it's brought my folder in exactly as it is in my finder window. So that's the way I prefer to do it when I'm working on a project rather than having to find it in here. And if you want to use the favorites window down here, I always use my tutorials folder. So all I need to do is click on the tutorials, grab that, drag it into favorites and whenever I click on favorites tutorials it's going to open my tutorials folder so that saves me a bit of time hunting around through the folders. Once you've imported the media to preview a clip you can double click on it and it opens in this window here and then we can press play to view the clip and over here we've got different views that we can click on so you've got the metadata view so it shows you a bit of track information that's the default view got a list view here so that breaks it down into text so again you can sort it by the different columns if I go to our thumbnail view I can adjust the size of the thumbnail by moving the slider left and right so I can increase the size by moving it right and decrease the size by moving it left and you've also got more options here so you can just choose which ones you want I'll close the inspector panel so you've got more room here we've got metadata so you can fill in all the details about that specific shot so I could put in here a description of the shot. So it's uh, showing a blunt blade. Also, I could put in keywords. I could put in blade. I could put in blunt. So you customize this as you wish. We can enter things like the shot number. So this is shot one, scene one. You can put how many takes it is. So this is take one, angle. It could be camera A. So you can customize all of these and fill them in for each one. You could also put what camera it is. So this is shot on an iPhone. And with all of these clips, I know they're all shot on the iPhone, so I can highlight all of them. Where it says camera, I'm just gonna type in iPhone. And as soon as I click away, just press apply. So now what that's telling the metadata is all these clips here are shot on the iPhone and I could go through and fill in the description and keywords for each one, which I'm just gonna do really quickly now. 
And then I work my way through the different folders. So piece of camera, I know this one here is shot on a Canon R6. So I type in R6 for that one. Go into our sound effects folder, highlight all these keywords, SFX for sound effects. So you get the idea. You could just say what it is, tag it, happy days. And this is a really big time saver. If you spend all the time putting in the keywords, we can create a smart bin. So I go right click, smart bin. I could call this iPhone. And what this is going to do is it's going to show us all the clips that are shot on the iPhone. So I go onto here and then I look for metadata camera contains iPhone. So now if I go to this bin, it's showing me every single clip that's shot on an iPhone and you can add as many smart bins as you want. If I wanted to create one with just the word blade in it, I could go right click, add smart bin, put in the name blade, media properties, we want to get a file name and we're looking for keywords. And then we can type in the word blade, create. And now you see that it's showing us all the clips that we put the word blade in. So you could do this for all your media libraries and it'll really speed things up because if you're looking for something on the iPhone, it's here. If you're looking for the word keyword blade, it's here. One really neat feature with smart bins, if I go new smart bin, we call it iPhone. I can go media properties, camera type, iPhone. I can go show in all projects. So whenever I create a project, it will automatically do this for me. So here we go, here's our iPhone. And if I open up another project and clicked on the iPhone, it will show me all the iPhone clips for that specific project, which is a great time saver. It means you can make a load of smart bins and reuse them over and over for each project to save you a ton of time. And with smart bins, you can have more than one option. So if I wanted to have contains iPhone, I can also go on the plus here and I can create more options. So I could go media properties, I can find my keywords and I can set the keyword as wide and you can build it up with as many different options you want as combinations. So I've got iPhone wide shots as a bin and it's going to apply that to my smart bin. Another cool thing you can do in the media library, I've got a video clip here, which is shot on the Canon R6. And then I've got an external microphone recording the audio is you can sync up the two sounds in the media library. And to do that, all I do is highlight the two clips, right click, and then I can do auto sync audio based on waveform. And we see there it's done a little calculation. So if I drag this clip onto my timeline now, it's using the audio from the microphone and not the camera. So that is the media page. To get your free title pack, go to davinciresolvetitles.com or use the link in the description below. Leave a comment below if you found this helpful. Hit that like and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.